10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Okay, what we're going to talk about today is computer vision. How the computer sees like you see. And then when it sees something, basically an image, what your brain does with it, and now it's called artificial intelligence, what the computer will do with it. The computer systems, the digital world, is past what the body can do. The new camera for the drones that we're going to talk about can see 8K. That's 8,000 pixels. The human eye cannot see that. Okay. So the camera, a little camera on a little drone up there can see better than your eye can. And then you add the artificial intelligence to it and it can do a lot of things that you can't do or you can make work for you. The first one to get into this was DJI with the TLO EDU, Educational Drone. And we have several of them. They came out with what they call a mission pad. So if you look very close, we've tried to teach you all observation. I know you know. What do you see? The... Well... I see a spaceman, I see a rocket, I see dots. What Space. else? Stars. Stars. Well, let's go to this one. What seven do you see? Numbers. Oh, seven. Another one is seven. eight. These are numbered. So in addition to being an image, dot says up. So we'll put it on the ground, it means up or right, or whatever you want it to mean, okay? The number is going to tell you or the drone something. So that's number seven, okay? So we put it on the floor, okay? Number eight. Now what we want that drone to do is take off and fly from there to here. Same thing you do every day. You left your house, you came here. Now the drone has to do that, or the drone won't be of any value. Okay. Bombers from starting the war, they have to bomb in the right place, or we kill a lot of women and children. That's why last week Biden stopped the bombing, because we were probably going to kill some women and children. Can we kill women and children all the time. It's in the newspaper today. China is very much against us. But we're against China with their ethnic cleansing, they call them. Now they are using against us. Okay, based on the guy who shot all the Asian women a couple days ago. So this is pretty serious stuff. So what we want is a fireman or a policeman to be able to take off that drone and land it wherever somebody needs it. He's already done that with one of our videos. Okay? He's wrapped it around somebody in a pool that's drowning. Okay? So anyway, this is what you call an image. Okay? It doesn't transmit a whole lot to anybody, including a drone, other than the number. And it does that with numbers. Most of you last summer worked with us on this project. This is an engineer project. Three. Again, a number. This is placed somewhere on a specific location in the world based on GPS. This point here, the drone up there has to see and it has to be very, very precise. So anybody know what 10 meters is? 10 meters, 10 yards on a football field. 10 plus yards. 
right? So what's a yard? One yard, two yard, three yard, four yards maybe. So depending on you, your brain power, your resolution, we'll be able to set up, do you want it to be as accurate as from, from this whole park? Or do you want it to find the top of my head? You obviously want it to find the top of my head. You want it to be 10, what? Centimeters rather than 10 meters, okay? For engineering, you have to have that. So there's a whole world of using what we're talking about here in engineering. That's been around quite a while. It's not really new. Okay. There should be such one, two, three, four. This is a QR code, QR code called quick response, quick response, and it's made in a certain way with a certain pattern. You can see, you must have markers, okay, and it's read this way, so you must have a reader that can read it. This puts out a lot of information, okay because of all these squares, all these dots, and so on. This is a company we're working with, with the drones. It's called Lightbee. This little Lightbee guy, is on their software, and he's a, am I talking to the phone, or are you going to read it? We're reading it here. Okay. Go ahead. What does it say? It's just an image. Yeah, just an image. The light be is just an image. Okay. I'm not there yet. Okay. He blinks and he blinks at you. Very creative. Okay. As a gift file. She knows how to do gifts. We use it on our website. Okay. So, if you look at the back of it, this is something any student should know. This is an image, image on the internet. So now, as of a recent update on Microsoft Windows, every image on the internet, you can save it, you can print it, now you can make a QR code. Now, I hope you all understand what that means. That means you can find it in a split second. Okay? You don't need to do a lot of tweaking to get there. Click here, click there, click there. So everything that you want to put in your head related to learning, thanks to Microsoft or whoever came up with it. However, you'll see that this code is what? Different than the other one. Most people don't even know about this one yet that I know. The other one is blocks. This one is dots. And that's based on efficiency. When we print something, if you're going to print it, you have to know the quality or the resolution of the image. Are you going to print it at 300 dots per inch or 600 dots per inch or 1,200? So more than likely now, when you print something, you're printing it at 300 or 600 on your computer. If you're reading a high class Glossy magazine, that's probably 1,200 dots. So all that means is it's better, it looks better, your eye sees it better, and it may be in 4K. 
So, compare that. You know, 4,000 pixels, 8,000 pixels, okay, in that image or that video. 